Welcome to our program, Coach to Coach. Today's guest is Tyson Larson. Tyson is a nurse and a coach running her coaching practice with the tagline, Coaching from the Heart. Tyson and I met while I was on Jamie Smart's Advanced Coach and Facilitator Program. Thank you for joining us today, Tyson. It's so nice to see you. Thanks, Greg. It's wonderful to be here. I'm excited yeah. for what's going to come up today. I'm so glad we could do this. So the way I like to start these discussions is with the question, what first sparked your interest in coaching? So I um, I live in a small town, and back in 2011, um, somebody I had heard of was just finishing up their certification in coaching and was offering um, reduced price coaching, like as a package. So mm-hmm. I think it was maybe three three months, two months, and I was like, "Oh, that sounds cool. Sign me up." So I did it, and um, I had a long term vision that was to go to nursing school. Like one of the things was to go to nursing school and get my degree in nursing, um, and. I think the other the other two were short term. One was to get organized, and I think one was about finances. But I met all those goals, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh, wow!" And the one was long term. It took like five years before I graduated from nursing school, even longer than that. But um, so that's how that's how I got started in uh, being coached at first. And then I think in 2014 was the next time I hired a coach and. I was like, maybe this is something I want to do. Mm-hmm. And here I am today as a coach. It's amazing. Yeah. It's funny how, when you said 2011, I thought, oh, yeah. And then I realized, oh, yeah, that's that's actually <laughs> well, years ago. <laughs> I know. that's, all, that's <laughs> my, babe, my kids were babies then. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about your practice, how you're working, and who you're working with. Sure. So I was certified as a nurse coach um, with my background in nursing. And I also have yoga and Ayurveda and Thai body work in my background. So I wanted to kind of combine everything into like a more holistic approach to to coaching, I guess, and then getting grounded in the three principles and um, understanding that, you know, all our experiences are coming from our thought. Mm-hmm. But that's such a simple view that there's, there's kind of more to it than that, I think. Um, and so that's kind of how I, I run my coaching practice and I work with mostly women. I, um, I just started working with a couple of midwives and their, their patients, um, to help with kind of goals that they want, but I don't, work with goals. I know I said that's how I originally got started, but um, I look at goals much differently now. And um, it's not so much for the end result that that we're looking for. It's it's the growth that happens Mm -hmm. in the coaching sessions and the transformation that can happen when we're open, open to it. I love that the um, I'm with you, like the, the whole old school setting goals and milestones and all this stuff seems much less relevant in my life, whether it's in my coaching or or other areas of my business or just my personal life than it ever did before. While at the same time, I feel like I'm accomplishing more than I ever have. So (laughs) it's, yeah, uh, it's it's amazing. Yeah. 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 When you're not, uh, um, I feel like if I'm not so focused on the outcome and really just kind of let things evolve when they, when they do, um, yeah, we get more done. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, focusing on the outcome feels like this, where you know, letting things unfold is a little more open. And yeah. now you mentioned the the working with the midwives. Is that working with them directly, and or um, with their clients? I'm just curious how that all. Played. Yeah, yeah, with their clients. So they. Um, kind of refer me to their clients and that's how I'll be, I'll be working with them. Not directly like as a, as a, not directly with the midwives, but just with clients who need a little bit more support in, in the changes that they're trying to make. Yeah. I can imagine, I mean, being a father myself um, and watching my wife go through pregnancy and childbirth and, and then child rearing and all the rest. It's like, 
to me, that's like prime time coaching <laughs> opportunity right there. Like the the thing that, that women go through in each of those phases, their lives change you know, more they can more than they could ever possibly imagine. Absolutely. And support is really um it's helpful because everything is so new. All the things that we women go through. I'm a labor and delivery nurse um, mm. also. And so I can I can see some of the changes and the the fear that comes up for women as they are sent home from the hospital with this brand new baby, never having been a mother before, never taking care of a baby for some of them. Um, it's it's nice to be able to be be that safe, like supportive mm-hmm. person. Yeah. yeah. I know you, you know, I've talked about this before, but I just love the, like I think of coaching, you know, as almost analogous to like miracle work, but the the fact that you, you are like a delivery room nurse and working with midwives and um, around the whole miracle of birth all the time. I just I envy that, I guess, closeness with the miracle of life that you have. And, and I'm sure that touches into your coaching and, and things as you go along. Absolutely. To be able to witness like uh, how, how strong women's bodies are, and what they can go through and just the miracle of life. I mean, <laughs> it is, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an honor to be there with women going through that yeah. phase of their yeah. life. Yeah. What came to mind there is, is just, um, I was reading a, a chapter of JB's book, Clarity, just the other day, and it was all focused on uh, reinforcing the notion that we all have innate capacity and innate capacity for resilience. Mm-hmm. And I think, you know, when you just mentioned the, the the strength of a woman's body and what it can withstand and go through, I think of, you know, resilience is the word that kind of popped to mind. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and just how we're brought into the world for the babies. Mm. I mean, that's a, that's a big ordeal, Yeah, you know, coming <laughs> out of, the, coming out of the birth canal or via C-section. I mean, it's a, it's a, it, it is a testament to our resilience going through that, just coming into the world. Yeah. Alone. Yeah, I suppose. And so. it's, it's also, it's a good reminder for me to see where everybody came from. Like they started out as this innocent, tiny baby. Mm. And that's really who we are at our core until, you know, we get, we get thrown into this chaotic world and, and we get a little jumbled up sometimes. Yeah. So yeah, it's nice to guide people back towards that innocence. Nice. Yeah. I like that. So I'm curious if you can share some examples for our listeners of, uh, on how coaching has helped either yourself or some of your clients. And uh, I, I find such value in, in getting you know, real life stories of how coaching has helped us. Yeah. Um, for, for myself, it's been helpful um, through my, my journey. Um I, I mentioned get, guiding people back to their innocence and their wholeness. And for me, that's kind of what it's been about on my journey. And um, just remembering that like nobody's, bro- I'm not broken, nobody's broken. And when I really got that for myself, it's so much easier to see other people like that. And um, it, it it helps with my coaching because I I see the innate ability, capability, the wisdom and innocence in my clients. And coming from that place um, and helping them see that within themselves, I think is, is the biggest thing. I had a client who um, she wanted to lose weight and she was so focused on weighing herself every single morning and stepping on the scale. And it just got her all jumbled up. And um, so we just took the scale away and it, it never occurred to her to take, to, to, to not weigh herself and, and actually like move her body in ways that felt good. And, you know, just do things that felt good to her body. Mm-hmm. Um, and she ended up losing weight and feeling you know like a a different person at the end of our our coaching so that's i love when uh counterintuitive approaches like that (laughs) work yeah 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 it's awesome great 
Um, yeah, when you were talking there, I was thinking about your tagline, coaching from the heart. I mean, it, mm-hmm. for me, it, it comes through in everything that you've talked about. I was curious, you know, if there's a story behind that tagline or, or how you came up with that. Um, yeah, interesting. Um, so my initial, my initials for my coaching business are TLC, Tyson Larson coaching, which Mm. obviously also tender loving care. And I feel like that's kind of the, the epitome of coaching is like doing it with love and care. And, um, so, and that's kind of how I, I approach coaching is really from the heart. Cause if you're up in your head, trying to, to talk to people who, oftentimes at the beginning of coaching, they are still like so focused on something and it's, it's repeating in their head. Yeah. But if you can get them down into their heart, then, then that's really helpful, better place to, to be and a better place to coach from. So yeah, for sure. And the, yeah. what's occurring to me is the, the whole idea of um, self-love. Like I can think of kind of project into the example you gave of your client wanting to lose weight and, and looking at the scale every morning and how that might have played into, you know, self-loathing <laughs> rather than self-love. Yeah, and, uh, absolutely. And, that, and when you can flip that around, how powerful that can be for people. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of resistance when you're, when you're so focused on that number on the scale mm-hmm. that you, 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 it's not coming from a loving place yeah. where you just, let's get this number down. Let's get this number down. <laughs> like It's, it's, yeah, it, sure. and it is it can be counterintuitive to people to to come from a different approach but because they're so used to doing things a certain way mm. and yeah trying to flip that perspective and even you know i've learned that coaching from you it's <clears throat> um it's just so obvious to the coach sometimes like well just do this or you mm. know and, yeah and, and it's it's just this like mind-boggling like oh oh yeah you know for a client sometimes yeah that's, well, that's a great point because I, I think um for people who have maybe never hired a coach or worked with a coach and wonder what it's all about or what's what's the purpose or advantage of doing so like having that extra set of eyes like you just said like things from the outside yeah appear so yeah. obvious like, yep. And it, it can be so helpful, just that one little pointing somebody in a different direction. Right. And somebody that's not emotionally invested in your life, too, that hasn't been around your patterns. And, um, you know, it's great to talk to friends. A coach is a much different relationship than a friendship because, yeah. well, for many reasons, but one, friends want to please you and they want to <laughs> encourage you and you know, innocently, they, they, they do that in a way that can be counterproductive to, yeah. to a person's growth by, you know, getting into their, their drama sometimes and yeah. agreeing with them when sometimes we need a, a an outside perspective to kind of look at things differently. And I think that's one of the greatest benefits of coaching um, is that outside perspective and helping somebody to see, see things differently and, it can really change the trajectory of a person's life. Just, you know, little insights that they get that they never would have that opportunity had they not been coached. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that leads into our next question. If there's one thing that you'd want people to know, what would that be? I think um, that they're much wiser and much more capable than they can even imagine and um it it doesn't take a lot of effort to to make changes and it it doesn't take a lot of effort to be to be happy (laughs) Mm. like you everybody gets to be happy like there's no it doesn't matter what you've done what you've been through um or how how broken you feel you still get to be happy and you don't have to there's no work that you need to do to be happy um it's just seeing things differently and knowing your own your own worth yeah Yeah, i love that that's one of my favorite insights that that i've had too about you know happiness is our default setting like 
you, you don't have to do anything to be happy. It's just what's getting in the way. <laughs> yeah, you, when you get yeah. rid of that, then uh, what's left over is happiness. Yeah, I, I think of the the idea of like windshield wipers. It's just clearing off the mud from your mm. <laughs> from your your windshield, so you can yeah. see a little bit more clearly. And yeah, yeah, that's a great metaphor. So, if people want to find out more about TLC Tyson Larson Coaching and Coaching from the Heart, how can people get in touch with you? They can send me an email at Tyson at TysonLarsonCoaching dot com. Great and. We'll have a link too at the bottom of this for my for my webpage, my get to know you page. Nice. Yeah. Thanks so much for doing this. I've really enjoyed our conversation. I look forward I to seeing you again soon. Yeah. Thanks, Greg. This was wonderful. Yeah. Thanks, Tyson. Take care. Yeah. You too. Thank you.